I needed a way to get some more uh, electrical power into the cab of the Honda Ridgeline. I usually like to run uh, at least a couple of two-way radios in here. I'm a ham radio operator and um, also wanted to have a little extra for anything later, like maybe a amplifier for the subwoofer. I came off of the positive with a uh, four gauge wire. Everything is soldered, uh, sorry, crimped, soldered, and heat shrunk. So there's no chance of corrosion, there's no chance of it pulling out, uh, anything like that. I did use an extra washer here because the terminal I used was pretty large. So that comes off the positive, it comes down to this fuse. Everything here is rated, this is rated for 100 amps. Uh, the fuse is 90, so we're just a little below the rating, so we're not maxing it out. Used uh, stainless steel uh, screws to screw this in, top and bottom right here. Made sure that when the rest of the air assembly, air intake assembly gets attached, it's not going to be in the way, and I oriented the fuse so I can see clearly whether it's blown or not, and then also access to service it if we need to. This goes all the way above... The radiator, it's in this, um, I forgot what this kind of jacket's called, but it's to keep it from snagging or rubbing in through the cable. Um, tied along where you can see a lot of the factory cables are. Now additionally, the only ground the Honda Ridgeline has to the frame is what appears to be a four gauge cable off of the battery. The good thing is it's nice and short, it just goes right here. But that's literally the only ground to the frame and the battery is is this so if this comes loose gets corroded um yeah you know, i don't think it would ever get severed but you really have all your eggs in one basket here and i'm using a four gauge cable just to pull my accessory stuff not including all the stuff the trucks needs to run from the factory so i ran an extra ground alongside of this positive cable that you can see the red through the the uh, jacketing the extra jacketing here all the way to the other side of the truck zip tied and more zip tied along the way and that ground ends up down here so they had a ground from the frame to what looks like the top of one of the engine mounts uh, again four gauge cable the whole way everything's uh, soldered after it gets crimped and uh, the positive cable goes all the way around the back. It's hard to see. Um, and then from there, it actually goes uh, down. It takes a turn down and then goes into the frame. So if most of you don't know, the Ridgeline's a unibody pickup. So technically there is no frame, but there are boxed parts of the body that I guess act as a frame it goes just above you can kind of see just above that white clip where it goes in and then underneath the truck it goes in the same spot where the uh, running board lights do so inside the truck now we can see this is the grommet uh, that we're sharing for the running board lights again this extra sheathing is being run all the way through the exterior then once it gets to the interior here I've wrapped it in um, electrical tape and then just a short run of the cable up to the auxiliary fuse box. This uh, fuse box I got on Amazon. In fact, I will put a, a link of this in the description if anybody's interested in getting this. So you have six circuits, grounds are at the top, positive at the bottom. And right now I just have one hooked up. You can see here to the right where the HF rig is hooked up. No fuses in it just yet. The box is made to do 100 amps per box maximum or 30 amps per circuit maximum. So obviously you can't run four 30 amp circuits, but in my case, I'd have to key up two radios and have the stereo blaring all at one time to come even close to um, 100 amps. So I like having room to spare and this is in my mind, the most proper, legitimate way to get extra power into the vehicle efficiently, safely, and with uh, room to grow. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below.